Don't worry, I know there's no real point in fighting you. The human souls would probably just revolt again. So? Why do you keep coming back here? Oh, I get it. You want to be friends, huh? You're pathetic! You really think I would want to be friends with you? <laughs> you really don't get it, do you? There's only one person I could care about anymore, and even then, I couldn't truly care about them. I just like to think there's someone out there, someone that I won't get tired of. Someone like me! Say, quit looking at me with that stupid expression. You're ticking me off. Well, let's get this over with. So you're here again. What's wrong with you? Are you trying to start a flowy fan club? Because if you want to join that, you'll have to talk to Papyrus. Yeah, he started one. A few different times anyway. I won't lie, he's one of the better characters to mess around with. Took me a long time to get bored of that one. Yeah, talk to him about it. So, did you start the Flowey Fan Club? I'm just kidding. I was watching. I know you didn't. But I don't care. Really. He probably would have invited his garbage brother. You know, smiley trash bag. Say, if I have one piece of advice for you, don't let his brother find out anything about you. He'll, well, let's just say... He's cost me more than my fair share of resets. Stay away from that guy. Why do you keep coming back here? You don't really want to be friends, do you? No, I get it. You're just like me, aren't you? You don't care about anyone. You're just bored. You just want to see what I'll say. So you can laugh and throw me away like a broken toy. I'm too bad! I'm not like everybody else! So from now on, you're not gonna get anything! Don't you have anything better to do? Here we go again. Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we presumably escaped the underground. But at what cost? At the end of our adventure, Flowey challenged us to prove him wrong and show that killing is unnecessary in every single scenario. We had one single solitary regret throughout this entire adventure. And then one minor one that was sort of an accident. I'm here today to go through a true pacifist run in Undertale. 
Let's get started. A name has already been chosen. Human? Yes, human. So here's the thing. I came very, very, very close to doing a full pacifist run. Hey, remember, don't kill anyone. Oh, wow. I can't believe this is a real thing I have to remind you. <laughs> Good luck! Interesting. <sighs> so here's what I'm going to do. So originally, I was going to have three separate playthroughs of Undertale. I was going to have my original playthrough, which was just my first blind experience with the game. The second one was going to be the Pacifist run, and then the third one was going to be the Genocide run. As far as I'm aware, those are the only three different playthroughs. I was going to go ahead and look up every single thing about the Pacifist and Genocide run, so that I would be able to show them off as perfect walkthroughs. I asked my friends about that, and they said, don't do that. They said to just play the game again, and experience it for yourself, because... Uh, there might be something different. Like, obviously I wouldn't look up the ending because I want to see what happens at the end. But I wanted to just, like, sort of create a perfect walkthrough or whatever. But at the same time, I don't really want to create a perfect walkthrough of this. Because it's a game that has, like, a million different tiny little dialogue options. And I think it's more fun if you just experience it for your own. And I'm sure there are a million different outcomes and a bunch of different ways I can make it happen. So, it would probably require more than three playthroughs in order to make it happen in the first place. So, because of that, I'm just going to head- I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the fight with Toriel because that was our one and only actual mistake. I'm just not going to uh, count the one with the minor enemy. I'll just promise you that I won't kill a minor enemy this time. What I'm going to do is just- I'm going to cut to the fight with Toriel. I'm going to make sure I don't kill her this time. And then, I will cut ahead to the final boss, basically. I'm going to keep recording things in case I find something that changes along the way. But, for the most part, I asked people if anything changes. If I had stuck, like, I tried so hard and, like, I was so stinking close to having a pacifist run. Is there going to be any major differences that I should show off? Is it worth an entire second Let's Play for? They told me no, so I am going to take their word for it and just basically cut away to the final boss, if that's the case. So, this will be the final episode slash first episode of the pacifist run. Hopefully that makes sense, and hopefully you are all okay with that. As for the genocide run, we'll get to that when we get to that. <laughs> but yes, now that everything is said and done, taken care of, I will meet you guys at the fight with Toriel. Huh. She- so there is a bit of different dialogue, so that's what makes me want to go ahead and, like, do this- Twice. I assume that'll be the thing is that they'll know the differences between my two different things. But yes, I do prefer cinnamon over butterscotch, and she does actually remember from the first playthrough, so I'm questioning whether or not I should actually do it. I'm just gonna keep all the footage and I'll show like the highlights basically because I did more or less do a pacifist run. Yes, it's cinnamon. Hee hee hee. I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Oh boy. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. They warned me, and I didn't stinkin' listen.
Toriel blocks the way. We know that there's something that we did wrong. So they told us. The frog it stinkin' told us right then and there. Even though... Nothing seems to change when I keep on trying to spare. I have to keep doing it. That's the only way I'm getting out of here. And it seems that all of her attacks are very similar to her husband's. Cool. So I'm just going to keep on sparing, hope that does something. I was wondering if I had to do any damage at all. And it seems that I don't. Oh, Jesus Christ, how did, that, how did I do that? Press for magical attack. Keep on sparing. Question mark. Something changed. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus! Um, act making a fool of myself? We'll take that, um, monster candy then. Oh, jeez. Attack or run away? What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave! Stop it! Stop looking at me that way! You'd think I would have learned. It's just that I wasn't expecting this sort of battle right at the beginning. But we've been in a situation like this before, haven't we? Or maybe that moment has yet to come. Go away! go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. All it took was a little bit of patience, determination, and love.
I'll prove to you that that's the most powerful force in the entire world. <laughs>